Sister, did you make this? It's so cute! Well, things are gonna get pretty hectic around here soon. But this spirit, Chirithi, is gonna make your lives much easier. Hopefully. Spirit? You could say they're like cats or dogs. And they'll be your loyal pets. Every wielder will have one of these adorable little guys at their side. They're here to help, so play nice. Okay. Oh, right. Before I forget... If a wielder is overcome by malice, or rather, if their heart is tainted by darkness, their adorable little spirit will turn dark and become a nightmare. So you're telling us that if we see a nightmare... Someone has fallen into darkness. Exactly. And if you don't stop this renegade spirit, it'll plant darkness in the hearts of others. And you'll have an army of nightmares on your hands. Beware. So, if we see one of these nightmares anywhere, we have to get rid of it on the spot. No! I won't let you do that! <laughs> no wonder you ended up as the bear. You're scary. Your point? Maybe you can growl at them. Hmm. Don't insult me! Come on, I said. You won't know if it works unless you try. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. Long, long ago, all the worlds were still one. One day, this would be called the Age of Fairy Tales. It all began here, in Daybreak Town. The Master of Masters had an eye that gazes into the future. He bestowed upon five of his six apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies, in which was written the events to come. You been here long? My bad. No. So, what did you want? Uh, you didn't forget, did you? You're the one who called me here. <laughs> Lighten up! I was just kidding. I didn't forget. Give me a little credit here. I was just testing you. Uh, right. Now, allow me to tell you about your role. You're going to be Ira's right-hand man. What? Ira's right-hand man? What do you mean? Well... Vera's gonna be the new leader after I'm gone, you see. So, just stand by. Don't disappoint. Explain to me, Master. What do you mean, Ira's going to be leader? What? Is that disappointment I hear? Did you want to be leader? No! I mean, if you had asked me to be the leader, that's a different story, but I wasn't trying... You really want to be leader, huh? I... well... I know you are. But that just isn't enough. Any chump can say, You! Here's a huge promotion! Good job! And make your head honcho. But enthusiasm alone doesn't make a great leader. Ira needs someone like you to give him a push in the right direction. Uh... I agree. Ira is definitely the most worthy among us. I'm sure he'll make a fine leader. <laughs> then it's settled. Wait, I agreed that he is worthy. But why do we need a new leader, Master? Does, does that mean you will no longer be teaching us? Well, I might disappear one day. But... Well, I might disappear. Disappear? Why? Where? Speak up sooner if you're listening. It was embarrassing for me. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna disappear or not. It's anyone's guess right now. But... In any case, you need to support Ira. We both know he's quite serious. He's always just thinking and thinking and thinking behind that unicorn mask of his. So everyone will be counting on you to spur him into action. Uh, right. 
You might not be entirely happy with your role, but just know that it's the most important one. Capiche? Hmm? Uh, shall I elaborate? Making Yira the leader is all good in theory, but sometime later you might think, eh, he's terrible at this, in which case it'll be your job to step up. Who knows? Your leadership might be just what everyone needs, and that is your true role. May your heart be your guiding key. Best of luck, I said. Master. Hmm. Oh. Um. Oh. Master. Oh, I see. If you're busy, mm. I can always come back later. Sure. Oh no 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 stay. Now where? Ah, here it is. What's this? Go on, read it. This is from the Book of Prophecies. But... Yep. It's a page that's not in any of your books. And what's written here is... Your role. You must find the traitor hidden among you, and stop them before it's too late. And in order to help you find the traitor... I get it. That's why you gave us all different roles, isn't it? If anyone deviates from the job they were given, we can easily conclude that they are the traitor. It's brilliant! Way to steal my thunder, show off! Huh? It's not fair. My plan was supposed to blow your mind with its grandeur. Your jaw should have hit the floor at my sheer genius! I'm... sorry? But was my logic flawed? Oh, you were right. So, I guess now you've earned your time in the limelight. Even though there is a traitor, act normal and keep focused. Trust no one but yourself. So, to sum it up, I'll need you to observe the others. Easy breezy. Uh, all right. Hmm. Like I said, Ira may have to take over for me. But don't be shy. Just be fair. Then do not be afraid to speak up. Even though I say observe, you'll need to be the mediator. Make sure people get along. I understand. But, without you or Lushu, to form and maintain our own unions is... It's a little unnerving, to be honest. Oh, come on! Lighten up a little. Maybe I'll never disappear. Wait, do you want me to go? What? N no of course not! <laughs> I was just kidding. Oh, I see. Look, I get that change can be hard for everyone, but things need to keep moving forward. And you need to keep up. Otherwise, you'll just get left behind all alone. Now that you know what the future holds, Indy, what does your heart say? <laughs> May your heart be your guiding key. I say it all the time. You ultimately need to do your heart feels is right. Right. What's written in the last page of the book is going to happen. The entire world will be lost to darkness. But Master, 
Isn't there anything we can do? Well, that's what brings me to your role. You might just be the only hope of keeping light from expiring. Hope? Master, what is it that you need me to do? Don't get involved in any battles. Forget the notion of unions. Find Keyblade wielders with potential and create an entirely separate organization. Then, like the seeds of a dandelion, let them fly to another world. They will keep the light alive. You really think that I'm the right person for this? Ava. You're the only person for this. I understand. So, did you look through the book? Yes. But, I'm still analyzing it. Wow, no quick skim for you, huh? I just prefer to be thorough. Master, is what it says in the last passage true? Oh yeah, that. Bummer, huh? Yes. By the way, if one day I suddenly disappear, I'm counting on you to keep the others calm, okay? Huh? Disappear? Vanish? Dim? Fade? I don't know how to explain it. It's just hypothetical talk. Okay. This world is full of light. <laughs> it's a world comprised of many smaller worlds, all connected, stretching as far as the eye can see. One great light protects us all throughout this vast land. All worlds share one light, one fate. I take it you're talking about Kingdom Hearts. Yep, you're right on the money. People believe that the light that is Kingdom Hearts will be here forever. But if it were to disappear, the world would be enveloped in darkness. I understand. And that is why you granted us these Keyblades. With these, we can spread the teachings of light. And we can protect Kingdom Hearts from darkness. No, they're not for protecting Kingdom Hearts. Huh? The final passage reads, On that fated land, a great war shall transpire. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. Isn't it our duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent this war from taking place? Not, not possible. What? You really think you can change the future? Then, what do you want us to do? We have to focus on what comes after. There's no use thinking of ways to change events that we know are going to happen. But what about all of those who are here now? And the ones who will be here when the darkness finally comes? Are we to abandon all of them? <laughs> Come on, are you telling me that you think the world can be saved by just seven people? We have to at least try. With enough Keyblade wielders, we could... Well, if you want to give it a shot... Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Good luck. So that makes you the indisposable number seven. Huh. Come on, it's simple. U6 plus me is seven. Uh, wait, don't tell me I don't count. No, uh, um... Here, take it. The Gazing Eye? 
Uh, it's not what it's called. Oh, what then? Hmm. Actually, no name. No name. Well, gazing or not, that Keyblade does have an eye in it. My eye, to be exact. Ew! Oh, you think that's gross, do ya? N no. Yeah, sure. Anyway, about your role. You need to pass down that Keyblade to your apprentice and then him to his so that my eye can see the future. So the Book of Prophecies... Bingo! The fact that it exists is proof of your success. That means you've trained a worthy apprentice, passed down that handsome Keyblade, and fulfilled your role! Congratulations! What's the matter? Come on, you did a fantastic job! At least smile a little. But I haven't done anything yet. Good point. Guess you'd better get started then. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone from here on out. No Book of Prophecies to keep you company either. I can't have you causing any temporal paradoxes. But hey, we both know you'll do just fine without it, right? Do I really have to go alone? What about the others? Minor details, so don't sweat it. For now, you, that Keyblade, and this box need to stay out of sight. Just watch with your own eyes, and my eye, of course, as things unfold between the others. Then, when the time is right, go off and do your thing. What's in it? It's a secret. And, well, you see, <laughs> the thing is, you can never, ever open it. Great, now I really want to know. <laughs> All right. I'll indulge you. But this secret stays between the two of us, and you have to promise never to open the box. I promise. Oh. But why? You'll see. <laughs> 